Hi and welcome to a short video on how you can troubleshoot config manager task sequence actions using serviceui.exe. My name is Johan, I'm a config manager MVP and I will be your host for the next few minutes. As you probably know, in config manager we have sequences when we do OS deployment. If I open up a sequence, or rather edit the sequence, we have the list of actions that actually happens when we start an OS deployment. Quite early in the sequence, there is a gather action going on. This action is reading the ini file used to control the deployment. So if I open up this ini file, it looks like this. A simple text file with instructions that the sequence will use. So for example, in this text file, there is an instruction saying BDE install suppress equals yes. And if I go back to my sequence, go down to the BitLocker action, enable it, and as you can see, this action, as many actions in the sequence, has conditions on them. So this ini file is simply controlling the behavior of the sequence. The beauty of this ini file is that we can simulate these settings without having to do a full deployment. So if I go to my host here, open up a command prompt, go to a folder, and look in this folder, I have a few script files. These. I have the ini file, and in this case I have an ini file that looks like this. I have configured this ini file to only enable BitLocker if this is a laptop, and also install a Cisco VPN client if this is a laptop. But for desktops, I simply say yes, and it will not install BitLocker. Now I can simulate this by running a script. So I go back to my command prompt, and I will open up this script file. And as you can see, I'm simply calling the gather script with the ini file I just showed you. So I will close this, run the script, and I will directly get the information back on my deployment without having to deploy a full client. And I can either read the output right here, or I can simply go to the logs folder and open up the gather log file. So this is the simulation of the rules, of the settings. You can see it actually detects and will enable BitLocker and install the config manager, install the Cisco VPN client. Now, if I go back to my sequence again, the settings as I showed you are very easy to simulate. But what if we want to test scripts that we normally run in our sequence? What if we add a custom action that actually will also enable the TPM chip for BitLocker? Or we have our own custom scripts that we want to run in the sequence, and we want to test them? Well, it's quite challenging to run through a deployment every single time. But I will show you a trick on how you can quickly test scripts by adding a little known feature called Service UI to a sequence. So I will open another sequence. I call it Custom Test Environment. And this is just a smaller custom sequence. I still have the use toolkit package and the gather step, but I've added a sample command that shows you I'm simply creating a text file on the C drive. But I'm using the slash C switch for the command, which means since the sequence, when running in Windows, unlike WinPE, you cannot interact with it. So by adding the C switch, I'm simply telling you to, when you're done with the command, close the command prompt. As you can see here, I have a disabled sample where I'm not using the C switch anymore, I'm using the K switch. This will actually break the sequence because this command here tells the command prompt not to exit. And since we cannot interact with the sequence, I would have to kill it through task manager. I've also added in a pause, it's a normal VB script that does a pause, but then I've added a service UI. The service UI component I can use to actually start 
a command prompt that can interact when running the sequence in Windows. And that allows me to run scripts, but still have full access to all the service manager objects that the sequence has, or rather the sequence object. So I will show you how that looks. I will go to a client. I will open up the software center. I will select the sequence and run it. As you can see, the sequence quickly run through the actions that I had and then came to the pause action. If I open up a normal command prompt here and just get this out of the way, go into the demo folder where I have a few scripts. I have one script that will simply get the computer name from the sequence environment and I have another script that will enumerate all the variables available right now. As you can see when I run this script in a normal command prompt I get nothing from the computer name and when I run the script that enumerates the variables, I even get the permission denied. And I am running this command prompt as a local administrator. Now, let me show you what the service UI window can do. So I will continue the sequence by creating a small text file on my C drive named go.txt. This pause action is simply looking for that file. So when I create it, it will continue. And as you can see, it opened another command prompt for me automatically but now using the service UI.exe, I will go into the same folder, I will run the same script. Now it gets the computer name. And if I run the enumerate script, it will simply enumerate all the variables that I have right now. And as you can see, now I have a command prompt that interacts directly with all the components and all the settings that I have in my sequence. And at this point, it's very easy for me to create VB scripts and test them by running them again and again and again until I get them right. And then, of course, I will add them to the normal sequence. By using the service UI, I actually get the component that allows me to interact even though I'm running the sequence on a running Windows OS, where the sequence would normally restrict me from interact with it.